When I say I jumped out of bed, I jumped out of bed. It's, let's see, what time is it? 4.33 on the dot. I was up waiting for this. <laughs> Okay, I was up waiting for this. I was so excited. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. And if you're returning, hi, hello, welcome. Warm bloods are my thing. I complained for the longest time before they added back the Belgian, or not added back, or added the Belgian warm blood last year. I remember having like a full on like seizure when those things were spoiled. It, it must have been scary to be my friend at that point in time last year because all I talked about were those damn warm bloods. Like I, I can't even I can't even preface to you how how much I love a warm blood. Now here's the thing. I'm a little iffy on this one. I know, crazy thought. Little iffy, but I'm still excited. It's mainly because I am not a person that likes dressage. I'm just not mm -mm, not my thing. Not my thing. When I used to ride, I was a hunter and I did show jumping, so I've never really been into the dressage kind of thing. I know the basics. I know what it's supposed to look like, obviously, and all of that, so I feel like I have a fair judgment on how these horses are supposed to look. I mean, my trainer did ride dressage. She was mainly a dressage hunter person, you know, two of the bougiest, bougiest disciplines, the most toxic disciplines, may I add. So anyway, moving on. What really enticed me about these were the coat colors because straight up, just straight up, this one everything I ever wanted. I actually posted on my Instagram story six months ago that I wanted this coat, that I wanted it so badly from the depths of my soul. That is a lot of star coins. Who? okay. Here's the biggest problem. I want all of these and I don't think I have enough star coins. I'm gonna have to miss out on a few. I'm not, I'm trying not to go too crazy, okay? Anyway, we have this pretty little seal bay. Very strange face markings. I'm not sure about that, but this gray. This gray is so beautiful. I remember complaining a few <laughs> a few weeks ago. I complained and a lot of other people were complaining. So I, I hopped on the hype train. Um, just complaining about the way they started fluking on the dapples. It looks like they heard the complaints because these are a lot better in my opinion. Uh, they don't look as airbrushed. That's a very nice gray. It's just such a simple gray that you'd see at a barn. I, I rode a horse that looked exactly like this, so. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This one, this is the first one I'm buying straight up. I'm pro It's probably the basic option. I just, I love it. I love the little feet. Oh, so cute. This one, I also really like. I love a liver chestnut. This one kind of looks like Vallegro to me. Let's talk about Vallegro for a second. What color is that damn horse? I looked up his registry, whatever, his records. It says he's just a bay. I know he probably is and I'm just crazy and I'm like, I'm a little bit colorblind too, we gotta remember that. But everybody says the reason he just looks like such a strange color is because of the way they clip him or shave him or whatever it is. I don't know. Everyone's saying that one of these coats looks like Vallegro, but we'll get to it. I wonder if it's this one. To be fair, I'm pretty sure this is like an 87% sure thing in my head. Don't take it at face value. I am 87% sure Allegro's bar name is like blueberry and that makes sense to me because it kind of looks like a blueberry, but whatever. I do like this one a lot though. I love it. I love it. I love it. This might be the one they're also referring to because Allegro on on the internet, according to Google, Vallegro is a bay. so I don't know. It's between these two, I'm gonna guess. This one is very nice too. Very basic, very nice bay. Love the stripe, very cute. Goes down to the nose, little pink nose. It's chef's kiss. Plain black, not a big fan. I love black horses, but it's just, it's black. It's very nice though. It's very shiny. He looks very healthy. And I want to talk about this one. I remember on the story, Star Sable was like, do you guys want a Cremello or a different coat? I voted for a different coat option. I said, put a flea bitten in because I love flea bittens. They didn't listen to that. Everybody wanted Cremello. I'm kind of happy they went with the Cremello because this is the best Cremello in the game, in my opinion. Uh, not because of it accuracy wise, just aesthetically wise. I'm not a Cremello person. But I just, I like the socks on this one. I really do. Love it. I love it whimsical. Anyway, I'm just gonna buy one for now. Know the second that this camera is off, I'm gonna have all of them. This was worth staying up for. It was. I'm, I am gonna say a few things that may not be well received, but that is the whole point of these videos. I just like to be honest. I try not to be biased, 
Okay, now we actually have to, like, not neglect him so he can run or whatever. Do you guys remember when you used to actually, like, you actually had to carry around the brush and the hoof pick? What a time. And you had to, like, manually drag it? Kids these days will never know. We had to put in work, baby. Work. Or the cold tolerance. Who remembers that? Sorry, just reminiscing a little bit here. Okay. Um, right off the bat, usually I go in order with the gates, but I just want to point this out. This looks like it's kind of jittering. Do you see that? Like, like right in this area, it kind of looks like it's jittering. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not smooth. Do you know what I mean? It kind of like snaps. It's not like flowy. Again, I'm just nitpicking. I'm just nitpicking because if you guys, these horses are expensive. I want to also make that a point. These horses are expensive. And if you guys are going to go and dump $70 for 10 horses, you want it to be good. And I want to give you guys that luxury of knowing if it's worth your money or not. If you're a person who's nitpicky, I'm not nitpicky. I wouldn't notice this if I wasn't making a video on it, but because I'm making a video on it, I want to point it out. Okay, but what I'm talking about is at the fastest gallop, this front leg here, the leading leg, kind of just like snaps. Do you see what I mean? It snaps back and forth. Oops. Sorry. Um, again, it's just nitpicky. It might even just be in my head. I don't know. To me, in my personal opinion, the last few horses that come at, have come out, their hind ends haven't been as engaged as the front end. So we're just gonna nitpick that. I'm gonna turn reshade on so we can actually see the horse. If you want this reshade preset, it's linked in the description. I made it. It's like 50 cents on my Ko-Fi store. I promise it's worth it. I use it for everything. Anyway, so this is the horse idol. Pretty. We like it. We know that it's pretty. Now we're gonna walk. To me, <laughs> I get that this is probably accurate, but to me, it just looks like a backup animation but they reversed it and made the horse walk forward like it looks like you're holding on like pulling on the reins uh i know listen that dressage riders usually have more contact on the mouth so it might just be that obviously it probably is just that i'm sure they had references but it is very awkward to look at outside of a dressage setting 100 percent. i feel like all of these gates we're gonna look at are gonna be extremely awkward outside of a dressage setting dressage setting say that 10 times fast i understand the need for the exaggerated gates though and i'll get into why but right now we're gonna move into the trot and this is what i mean by like exaggerated gate like this is through and through 100 percent a horse that's meant for dressage now what i meant by the need extravagant over-the-top gates is there isn't many dressage based horses uh of course there is dressage breeds but there isn't any that you look at and you're like yeah that's that looks like oh the horse is doing a full-on dressage routine right there you can debate we have the frisians we don't talk about the frisians uh while they are pretty coat wise i i don't exactly picture them <laughs> going to you know the freaking world cup for horses what is that called the olympics god i'm having a brain fart give me a break it's 4 a.m this isn't ugly though it's obviously not ugly it's it's doing what it's supposed to um i love the tail physics here very pretty uh the horse looks very light on his feet which is light on his hooves really which is what you want to see especially like during the olympics and stuff those horses look like they are walking on air like they weigh nothing so i'm getting that vibe again i don't know what it is to me okay look at this hold on Look at this trot and then split the horse down the middle. Split the horse down the middle. It just looks like two different horses in two different gates. I don't know. Again, just the hind ends never seem as engaged as the front ends, but there's nothing you can do. It's a game. It's a game. I would like to see that worked on though, especially with the Dartmoor ponies. Oh, there was another breed too. I can't remember that the hind end was just like dead. Like it was just like paralyzed in the back. Okay, now we're going to move into the canter. Again, very eloquent, but here again, it kind of snaps. It looks jittery. It's not my graphics card, obviously. All the other gates ha so far have been pretty smooth, especially this. This is 100% smooth right here. This looks snappy and jittery, and I can almost picture the grayscale background and the lines of it in, like, Blender. Uh, that's how jittery this gate kind of seems to me. It doesn't seem polished. 
again, it's not hideous. Again, I'm just nitpicking 100% because I know these things bother people. To the untrained eye, people that really don't pay attention to horses as much as crazy people like me or other crazy people like me who don't break down video games and know what to look for coding-wise and animation-wise, they probably wouldn't even notice this. Me, I'm just noticing where there could be a few extra ticks in certain places. Again, there's just a leg that kind of snaps forward. Doesn't mean it's bad though. I know a lot of people are saying, from the spoilers, a lot of people have said they wanted to see more movement in the neck. You gotta remember, they probably base these off of the Olympic horses and stuff. FEI horses, whatever. Again, I'm rusty, it's 4am. Those horses and necks are usually very uptight. There's little to no movement and it's a very high debate. Um, so far, I'm not seeing hyperflexion and I would hope there wouldn't be. Alright, hand gallop, whatever the hell you want to call it. Extended canter. I say extended canter. Again, very eloquent, but it's just this leg here looks like it's snapping up. It just, it does. Again, just something you probably wouldn't notice unless you're looking for it. It's my job here to kind of pull this horse apart, as I've said a million times. This is a gate where I can see why people who aren't really into, like, very professional horses, why they would say they wish there was more neck movement, because it's very up high. But it's, it's very dressage-based. I get it. I understand. I understand why some people would think these are goofy looking. Huh. I don't know. All right, now we're gonna gallop. Slow gallop. Yeah, those legs are just snapping forward. It's just snapping. Like, that's what happened with the English thoroughbreds a few weeks ago. They were so bugged. Their legs were just, like, completely jittered. We gotta remember, too, this is update day. Things aren't gonna be 100% perfect. <laughs> they never really are on update day, so there's a chance they could get fixed. Um, I noticed even when the Belgian Warmbloods came out, they had a lot of issues, like their gates would literally just skip. It's fixed now. They don't do it anymore. They had a few stiff things going on. They don't do it anymore. We're gonna back up now. Oh, that's really pretty. That's like, this is so stupid. This has been my favorite gate so far. <laughs> oh, it's really pretty. I like the way they're backing up. I don't know. That made me giggle. I like that. Okay, now we're gonna rear. <sighs> okay. You're probably wondering why I made that noise. I bring this up, I have brought this up in the last three horses, the Mustang video and the Dartmoor video. This is bugging me. We're not leaning forward. I reiterated this point in my Dartmoor video, straight up. You would just slide right off the back. <laughs> you would. Um, and my reason for saying this is because when the character update first came out, the Appaloosa, the paint, even the Belgian Warmblood, for example, when those horses rear, you really lean forward and cling to their neck. The last three horses, you don't do it anymore. And it looks goofy. And I'm scared it's going to be the same thing with the two point. Yeah, that just looks so goofy. You would slide right off the back. Like, that's hardly like a lean forward either. Like, maybe you'd be better off, but your arms should not be up like that. You are asking to fall off. We can jump at the trot now, so. Okay, the two point isn't actually awful. Um, I'm gonna as assume, I'm gonna assume this is the same jump as in the canter, so we're gonna check that. Yeah, it is. This isn't bad. I mean, there's nothing really to say about it. They're not supposed to be, like, scopey jumpers or whatever. These horses are predominantly used in dressage, so. That leg is kind of funny. Just a little like that uh that one painting extended canter jump okay the two point isn't bad though like picture wise this could not this isn't bad at all oh that's good that's good i do like that very much oh that looks good okay um now we can gallop jump jump gallop okay never mind they they ate with the jump the two point they ate with the two point they really did. Oh, he's like, looky, look how looky he is. <laughs> Cute. That confuses me then because they actually did do the two point justice this time. So why not the rear animation? So the two gates we're missing are the special move and then the special gate or whatever. Um, I do not have time to train up to level seven and show you guys. So I just have to show it to you in the buying window as much as I wish I had the gate already. So we already went through all of these gates. I don't know what this this is called. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know what this is called. I'm just gonna say 
very extended trot like tippy toes tippy 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 toes i have like a stable mate like a briar stable mate of a horse doing this and it's it's accurate this is like really nice i can kind of tell where all of the <laughs> attention went to oh i love it do it again do it again that's like a long time too okay this horse is actually a steal my general opinion, I always get so scared giving my general opinion because, again, I always worry that I'm not educated enough or I haven't said what I've been meaning to say. I really just look at these horses from a gaming standpoint. In my book so far, I think they were done pretty well. Again, there always, there's always things to be fixed. Again, it's a game. Horses are some of the very most hardest English, please, but they are like the hardest horse to the hardest horse to animate horses are the hardest horse to oh my god horses are the hardest animal to animate to the point where red dead like they mo-capped horses at rockstar so and then in call of duty they had a horse farm and they didn't even bother putting horses in it so I, that tells you everything you need to know they are just not simple things that you can just add to a game willy-nilly and fortunately for us this is a horse-based game well, uh, my hand doesn't clip through the horse's neck when I pet it, so <laughs> that's always lovely. With the right tack and the right outfit and the right setting, this horse is doing what it's supposed to do. Full dressage outfit, uh, even just like a dressage schooling outfit. You stick some bell boots with some leg protectors and then a nice like polo and a nice helmet. Very elegant looking. Uh, like you're meant to be at the manor, you know? I can't wait to play around with it. I do recommend this horse. It's it's for a specific type of person, I want to say. To me, it's not a horse that many kids would want. <laughs> In my head, kids usually lean towards like the Appaloosas and the ponies and the paints and the shires. They like the different kinds of horses. Uh, this is like a horse that I would see a lot of people my age with, a lot of role players with. It's a very role play savvy horse, I would say. Like I said, it's a very setting based horse like it, it, if you're just running around your vic <laughs> doing your soul rider quest it's gonna be a little goofy when the horse just like starts doing whatever that is you know i love it though it's so funny like imagine just going on a trail ride with your club and everybody has like appaloosas and then this is what your horse is doing <laughs> in the middle of the trail it's just dressage off rail dressage everybody all right, I'm going to leave you guys today. I'm really happy with this horse. Again, I could nitpick a few things here and there, but for me, it was really just the coats that I loved so much. I think the coats are absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I think that's, that's it for me today. I will see you guys this Friday. I hope you guys have a good day today and enjoy the update. Yeah, okay. Bye!